Um, so Sylvia invited you here. So yeah, Sylvia down for the show. Um, came down two weeks before the opening. I didn't come with an idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to let the space just kind of inform the work. And so I spent a lot of time just arriving um, into the space. And I ended up settling on um, these Grim Reapers, which is inspired by a, a Josh Smith series. Um, and because of the time pressure, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. So I used his motif and it's something that I liked. I like the idea of this figure who is shown throughout different cultures um, and this particular Grim Reaper is kind of a medieval Grim Reaper, the harvester of souls. And yeah, I, when I had the Grim Reaper motif, I wanted to make them light and happy um, through my teaching with Thich Nhat Hanh and the 10 years in practice with that lens. It's death isn't such a morbid thing anymore. And actually contemplating death makes life a lot richer when you realize that it is finite and, it, and life won't last forever. So I kind of imagine, especially these light ones, just if it were in my house, just a, something that you kind of come downstairs in the morning, you see it and it just kind of, this gentle reminder that, you know, today, um, it's something special. Tomorrow isn't promised. And so that, that was kind of the reason I picked the Grim Reaper as a motif. Um, in terms of the individual paintings um, and sculpture, I don't like to put, to explain them too much. Um, I like them to be a kind of mirror like the Native Americans when they used to look into the smoke and they'd see the images. So it becomes a kind of rick, rickshaw uh, test. And it allows you to... You mean Rorschach? Rorschach. Rorschach, I think, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, if yeah, they become, they become a kind of Rorschach uh, test and allow you to just experience the, the work in your own time and and the paint and the movement, they're, they're all wet on wet oil, um, all done within the same day. 